Hey guys, welcome back to episode 42 of our Take It Light playthrough. It's uh, been actually a relatively short time since our last video. Uh, hopefully you guys don't mind that. <laughs> I know you guys like Take It Light. And uh, I, I've i been kind of enjoying it lately, you know. Uh, for there for a little while, I just, you know, I kind of got sidetracked, I guess, more or less. And I uh, just kind of wasn't really enjoying it too much. I, I gotta keep my mind straight that this is a playthrough. I'm gonna play it, you know, like... Like I uh, want to play, but uh, today we're actually going to be working on a little speed build. We're going to be speed building our greenhouse today right here. Uh, I'm actually going to be reworking this uh, tree farm here first, and then we'll get to that speed build. And if we have a little extra time, I want to try and hit up on some more Steve's carts. If not, we'll do that another time. So let's go ahead and get started for today. Alright, so I'm going to make my way down here. What I'm going to do is we're going to reshape our tree farm or our automated tree farm and I've already made a few things here these huge iron panes and large iron panes all these other uh, panes that we needed for our cargo manager uh, if you guys want to know how to make that just you know simply click on it and you know take a look basically you're gonna need iron panes you're gonna need chest panes and yeah that's basically how you need it two uh, pieces of wood and unrefined wood in the shape of an eye and then refined uh, unrefined wood on each side and that gives you 32 chest panes for that so now, let's go ahead and try and make our cargo manager. I want to get two of these guys going. I think I might even need to go grab me some pipage. So there we go. Another cargo manager. I need to look through my bags real quick. I've done a few things off camera, of course, like, I'm always, like I always do. Uh, basically, I like doing that. <laughs> I like flipping my chests. It's fun. Uh... See, I've gotten some more stuff ready and like uh, for a, another, um, what do you call that, uh, solar array? Uh, medium voltage solar array, basically. I want to try and get a high voltage solar array. Uh, well, I'd like to get a couple. Uh, but basically, I want to get one going at least uh, for uh, scrap purposes so I can just basically make some UU matter. I want to get some more UU matter, you know, just uh, get some going. I'm probably going to need that eventually, so... Uh, that's what I've been working on. I'm just going to go ahead and grab some rail. I'm probably going to need this advanced other advanced detector rail that I made up when we did our automated tree farm. If you guys missed that, you might want to go back and uh, take a look at that if you guys uh, are a little lost. Um, shouldn't be too far back. I think it was like in the episode 30s or something like that. So you might want to go take a look at that. Uh, basically, I've also uh, refinished our oil rig here more or less or our is that what they call those those oil rigs? <laughs> so you kind of see what I was talking about. Um, and what I I could do eventually is get a bucket and go ahead and you know pour just some oil and it just be draining down. Uh, but I'd like to have a catch for it more or less. That way it's not spilling everywhere. Yeah, more or less. I guess I could train it to go one particular way and make it look like oil's coming out. I might do that. Uh, we'll do that a little bit later on, and then we'll get our oil to start refining a little bit later. Uh, basically, the reason why I'm not refining right now is because I would like to leave some some oil in there. That way, you know, you can just kind of see it. You know, it's not really there for purpose. I'm not really going to be using any refined oil uh, right now, at least. So uh, I'm just going to leave it there. All right. So we made it back to the house. Uh, I needed pipage. That's right. I need pipes. So I'm going to need some golden transport pines, probably some more than that. I've also made some more glass up and put it in here for now, for the time being. Uh, that's basically for the solar arrays, and that's why I also got a lot of coal dust made up. As you can see here, I've managed to make up one more medium voltage solar array, and just was uh, holding on to that for you guys. It's pretty easy when you have your solar panel plans in here. You know, it basically leaves everything in there for you. Just make sure, you know, you have the items down below down here. And everything works all nice and hunky-dory. So, after that, I'm just making uh, transformers. So, I'm um, going to try and get a couple high-voltage solar rays. One for maybe a high-voltage solar hat. I want to try it out. And then, uh, you know, maybe one or two more for our uh, mass fabricator. And maybe one for just power uh, around here. Just to have one charging up all the time. You know, seeing as how I'm on my own little private server, uh, it would 
probably wind up charging up quite a bit. But anyways, uh, enough chit chat. I need to get started here. All right, so I went ahead and restocked this chest up here. Went and did some trips back and forth uh, from uh, downstairs uh, and uh, filled up this guy. I also, <laughs> also refined some iron. Lol. So let's go ahead and make us up some gold transport pipes. I'm gonna make plenty. And just in case, let's go ahead and grab half a stack of glass. I got plenty of glass over there, but you know I just wanna. Make sure I have enough for the, the tree farm right now. I've actually got some materials made up for our uh, greenhouse project that uh, we're going to be doing here, speed build here, at the end of the episode. So if you guys want to see that, by all means, you can stick around for that. Uh, here, oh, and a bunch of random items, of course. Uh, basically, marble, wood, I'm not sure I'm going to do it yet. So, yeah, and glass. Uh, I've got a project table and a bed. Uh, you know, pretty much keep us alive <laughs> well that and to keep it daylight more or less and someone noticed uh you know hey Bentley, we can see your ip address yeah you can <laughs> i'm sure plenty of you guys have tried to join too notice that the server is indeed whitelisted uh, i'm not inviting no one to join right now so it's just my own little private server just so i can play on so hopefully you guys don't mind Alright, so let's just go ahead and get started. Now, I'm going to leave this guy probably going to need to punch him up. So let me go ahead and right click on him. You guys can kind of see uh, the way I have this. Well, come on, guy. Well, he's going to be working on this tree. There we go. So he's going to stop. Now, anyways, what do you mean you're out of solar power? That makes no sense. Why would you be out of solar? Oh, he probably used it during the night. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, most of that power is probably used during the night, unless it's a glitch right now, but. Yeah, I think it's just. Yeah, night was uh, on. But anyways, he's been using his engine, and it's being uh, uh, filled up basically by the cargo manager, so that's, uh, that's a good thing. Uh, let's go ahead and let him finish his job here. In fact, let's just go ahead. Actually, I found an easy way to get him up, and that's just to shoot a, a railgun at him. And then let's just go ahead and mine this tree for him. All right, now how this is gonna work is I'm gonna leave this cargo manager here, and then we'll put another one down this way. So we're gonna pick up. Oops, we're gonna have to be easier on this guy. We're gonna pick up this track here. I will say this: I do like this uh, glove here, or this animal. What I like to call the power glove. It's one of my favorite things. Alright, so now, let's do this before we forget. Uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do is, I'm going to put a block here just in case. Let's right click on this guy. And, let's see, there should be an option in here to... Right, so this is his last, this is his last, uh, you know, basically program that he needs to run, or his last execution when he uh, starts up the cargo manager. Uh, so I want to be able to change the turn back settings, which you can actually read it better here. Uh, currently continue along after transfer. I'm going to turn back after transfer. So basically he'll he'll come this way, he'll stop, and then he'll continue back this way. So I'm going to bust that guy up. Alright, now I'm going to take him to... Let's see. Where do I want it? I want to probably right about in here. Now nah, let's take it back another another one like that. Seems about right. All right, let's see. Let's go ahead and get this guy out. Our advanced detector rail. Place him down, and place our cargo manager down there as well. So, yeah, as you can see, they're on both sides. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up these saplings as well. These uh, random saplings here, because I also don't want these guys growing like they are now. That means it's more trees that I gotta cut down because <laughs> Mr. Steve's cart will not come over here and take our trees down. I wonder if he's even gonna mine that. He might. That'd be funny if he did. <laughs> I would laugh if he just sat there and started mining that, that little stump right there by the cargo manager. 
be hilarious. All right, uh, let's see. So I also need to. How does this guy work? So it should be coming at the bottom. So let's just, let's get down here, and I'm just going to try to connect to one of those over there. So I don't want to do this. So let's say right in there. We're going to go over one, two, three, four, five. So I need to go over five. All right, so from here on the fifth block, so one, two, three, four, five, I need to go this way. So let's do, it. do that real quick. And well, uh, there we go. Easy queasy. All right, so let's go ahead and clear in a little area here just so I can kind of see what's going on here. All right, basically what I'm going to do is that's going to be easy. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and take this golden transport pipe part. I got this guy pretty much set up. Uh, as you can see, I have the birch saplings to go to blue if they decide if he does decide to have him come down here because he needs to basically hold on to all the saplings. He's going to use the saplings. I will not. So any excess saplings will come down here and be void piped. Uh, everything else. Let's see, let's do this white. So we're going to change white to birch. So basically white will go up to the the barrel. So that way that'll work perfectly. All right, and then we'll just go ahead and finish up our golden transport pipe here. You know, we're just trying to be a little bit different here. I'll show you guys a different way you can set up your, your tree farm. I don't like that. Why does it do that? It did that to me in my when I was on single player too. All right, and up here. So there we go. Close this guy off, just like that. And let's go ahead and just place a, a dirt block right there, just for the time being. Let's get Mr. Steve's modular cart out. There you go, buddy. I'm gonna put you some wood in each of these. just to make sure that uh, he doesn't put saplings in there, more or less. All right, so now I want to set this guy up the same way. So basically blue, whoops, I need this blue. There we go. And I want this to set up as, what did I have this set up to? All right, so it went from there to engine. So basically transfer from the cart and then to the cart to the engine. Okay. Wait, don't I have like an automated setup on this? I need to look. Ah, yeah, I did. So I do need. I'm gonna need a wooden transport pipe and a on target gate. Don't know if I have any on target gates made up. All right, so I'm also going to want to turn back after transfer. Alright, and I think he's just stuck here for the time being just because. I could probably just give him a little shove and he might continue his way on. There he goes. He's like, oh, I have something to do now. Ah, there he goes. So, now, theoretically, I'm just going to go ahead and pick this up. He should actually just come here, do his business, and then turn around. Yeah, so he's going to also continue planting. So he should do his business right there, and then continue along the track, and then he's going to uh, plant his saplings that I gave him, or what he has left. I guess I could go ahead and give him some more saplings to plant. And then he should basically turn around. Cool. So let me put some saplings in here. Oops. Kind of got away from me. Oh, oh, that was not him. There he goes. He's kind of stopped on us. I want that to go ahead and fill up a little bit. There we go. That's filled up. Nice. All right, so I need a wooden transport pipe. So I need a piece of glass. So I got everything I need. I just got to make it up. There we go. And an on-target gate. I think I have one left somewhere. Aha! I do. I knew I had just one left. All right, so we're going to hop in here. 
I mean, I'm pretty sure. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to test this out real quick. Say, for instance, he drops a piece of uh, birch sapling in there. So, yeah, it's not going to go anywhere. All right, so there he goes. He continues along his way. That's nice. That's awesome. That's exactly what I want him to do. All right. Break you off. Place you down. Put you there. Right click on you. I want uh, redstone signal on and energy pulsing. There we go. So now we have ourselves a linear automated tree farm. So that doesn't look too bad. I like the way that looks. And turns around and continues on. So basically, it works. it's going to work the exact same as it did before, except it's just going to be a little bit more linear. Now, the problem I'm probably going to run into is design now. It's going to be kind of weird designing this. I'm going to have to set this up probably right. How many spaces is that? That's probably what I, I think they're going to need, what, two? Two spaces from the side of the birch? Yeah, I think so. Take a look at some of these birch trees. Yeah, so every birch tree from the center of the birch tree goes out two blocks. So if this goes out one, two, this third one, I'd need to get rid of this row as well because I don't want the glass touching the leaves if the, the, the tree comes up or like grows. So uh, this is also how much uh, birch we've gotten so far. Yeah. Not a whole lot, but uh, enough. And this is how much string we've gotten so far. So, uh, again, not a whole lot, but... Oh, well, crap, it's just spitting out. That must be uh What do you call that? <gasps> I did that thing again. Stop doing that thing again. Now it's about to go into overdrive here. I was wondering why it's spitting it out. That was very nice. I, I did manage to get this distribution pipe working properly, so I don't understand. Maybe it just kind of uh, fizzled out on me at one point in time. And it might tend to do that, so you might just have to keep an eye on it. But it should be uh, good to go now. You see, it, it looks like it's working properly, so that's good. And all the flax seeds are getting spit out over there because... Uh, I really don't need them, but uh, I haven't void piped them either, and that's uh, something I need to probably do. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and get everything set up. We're gonna start our little speed build here. So, if you guys want to see that, stick around. If, uh, if we have a little bit of time left, we might even start working on another Steve's cart for our uh, maybe a little better transportation, or maybe even to uh, dig us a nice little tunnel to uh, our other side of the world. So let's go ahead and get started. Hey guys, thought I'd go ahead and jump in on here, kind of like we did on the uh, previous speed build. Seemed like uh, some of you guys enjoyed that. Uh, if I do run out of time, I might go ahead and just throw in some uh, music like I did uh, last time as well. It might even be a little bit different than last time as well. So I um, want to go ahead and uh, you know, talk to you guys about a few things, a few updates uh, while we're doing this. So if you guys want to listen, by all means, you know, you can stick around. You might, you might. Here's something you might enjoy. <laughs> Basically, primarily what I want to talk to you guys about is live streaming. I do plan on doing some live streaming soon, and I'm I'm feeling like I'm at that point where I could probably do this a little bit more regularly now, and uh, probably going to do some tech it, maybe some mod life, and possibly some other games, and just sitting here and enjoying, uh, you know, playing games and live streaming and interacting with you guys. So uh, if you guys want to. You know, be able to follow along when and what times I'm going to do that. Uh, you can uh, follow me on Twitter. I'll have the links in the description. They are, they're always there if you guys are wondering. Uh, also, probably be announcing it on Facebook at some point too. So if you guys want to uh, watch me live stream, uh, by all means, you guys can uh, do that. Just check out uh, you know my Twitter when I have the times up and ready. Uh, another thing is basically, you know, how, how often I'm going to be doing Tech It. You know, I got to the point where I was doing Tech It, you know, every uh, two days. Like, basically, I'd put one up and two days would go by, and then on the third day, I'd have another episode of Tech It. 
we might see that happen sometimes. I'm trying to get to a point where I can put tech it out a little bit more often than that. Uh, basically, uh, we're going to try and get it done, uh, get our factory built uh, as soon as we can, because I'd like to be able to move on to a different mod pack as well. I felt like I've, I've been on this for a couple months now, and you know, I'm, I'm kind of ready for something a little bit different. And I, I think some of you guys might be as well, even though I, I understand a lot of you guys enjoy Tech It quite a bit. Is that an explosion on... I think that's... Must have been in-game. <laughs> anyway. So, more or less, I understand you guys enjoy Tech It uh, quite a bit. And I probably won't leave uh, this Tech It world forever. I'll probably come back to it at some point and, you know, maybe just start up something new, somewhere different in the world, more or less. Uh, especially if something updates. We might even uh, go into a new Miscraft world if it's still available in a future update, as long as they don't take it out. Hopefully they don't take it out. Uh, but basically, you know, there's a couple different mod packs I'd like to hit up on next. Um, I'm not sure which one I really want to do. I'm, I'm really considering doing Feed the Beast, uh, feed the beast ultimate version I know it's got like a ton of mods in it and I've you know done a, a good fair share of time on it and uh, had some fun another one I've uh, played a little bit on is volts I'd like to maybe do a volts uh, playthrough at one point soon and uh, there's actually another one that is uh, featured by the technic pack now which is the big dig pack and uh, I, I really haven't played that. I kind of looked at the mods. I don't quite remember them offhand right now. So uh, I'm not sure. But definitely the Feed the Beast Ultimate and Volts. I'm looking uh, forward to doing uh, some playthroughs on those very soon. After we get done with Tekken, of course. Uh, maybe even beforehand. We'll see. Depending on how things go. Uh, that's the reason why I'm kind of decided doing live streaming. Because I got a little bit more... You know, time more or less that I'm going to be dedicating to this now. So hopefully you guys understand. And we'll be uh, doing some more of that very soon. Alright, so basically I'm going to go ahead and just summarize everything real quick again. Um, you know, I'm, I'm considering doing some live streaming. <laughs> of Tech It and Mod Life, Mage Life, you know, stuff like that of Minecraft. Uh, basically, I'm going to try and do a vlog every week or every other week of uh, question, maybe like a question and answers and maybe like a channel update kind of thing or something like that. Uh, and if you guys want to ask me questions, I'll uh, let you know in maybe which video you need to do that or I'll uh, ask, ask uh, you guys on Facebook or Twitter. Also, the frequency of, uh, you know, maybe getting some tech and maybe uh, starting a new mod pack soon. So, Basically, that's just about everything I really wanted to cover. Just wanted to kind of say it again, just just so I do, more or less. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and jump in on some music here. Hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of the speed build. We'll be back in just a minute. Playing some more Take It Light.
Alright guys, welcome back. Hope you guys enjoyed the little speed build here of our greenhouse. Hopefully it's uh, to your liking. It looks uh, kind of dandy to me. I, I, I think it looks uh, kind of spiffy. <laughs> I like the ways it looks. It looks, uh, looks good to me. Hey, uh, yeah, we're going to go with this. I also left a little extra room in here. Uh, just in case I need to expand if I uh, if I need to, but I don't I don't think I should should need to. Yeah, everything looks like it's gonna be doing uh, just fine. So basically, the reason I, I also uh, got the comment of someone saying that we could actually uh, you know increase the size of this, but uh, technically we probably won't because the only thing that we're waiting on from this the reason why it's not going so fast is because we're basically waiting on this to make cobblestone and if we basically made you know maybe one or two more of these it would make more cobble which would uh, you know basically produce more scrap uh, quicker and uh, basically make more fertilizer to you know fertilize the plants faster so uh, yeah Pretty much, I am needing some food. Uh, so, I don't think we're going to have enough time today to get to the cargo manager. Or not the cargo manager, but the, the rest of Steve's carts that I want to hit on today. Oh, get out of here. Oh, wrong one. Get, get, scat. So, what I'm going to do instead is something that, uh, you know, you guys have asked me to do for a long while now. Uh, basically, let's go ahead and head on back. I knew I had some food in here. That's, uh... Reason why I came in here is getting a little hungry. Alright, so let's go ahead and head on over to our uh, nice little work shed. We're gonna take my uh, void age there. So we're gonna head back here, and there's a few things I want to try out now. Uh, as you can see, I have my helmet on, but I went ahead and applied to transparency so my face showed through. Uh, I think that's kind of neat. I like the way that looks. Anyway, uh, some of you guys said that we can actually add some things like this, these enchanted books, uh, to our armor. Now, that would be kind of cool. I personally have Thorns 3 here, and I think that would be a good addition uh, if we have enough uh, levels to do this. So, uh, let's go ahead and take off our chest piece. And place our chest piece in here. Let's see, how much does that take? 18 levels. But you do see it's possible. Uh, we, we wind up getting our power armor torso with thorns 3. So basically everything on it plus thorns 3. Uh, yeah, so I'll have to get another 18 or 8 levels to do that. But before I do that, I actually want to try something else. Hmm. Let's go downstairs. I want to see if I can't put sharpness on this guy. Because I actually have these two uh, sharpness five books. Uh, really not going to be using them too... Okay, what's going on here? Seriously, fly up. Fly. Oh. I have my jet... I actually don't have the jumping thing on. I don't have the jet boots. Alright, anyway. Power tool and... Not thorns, but sharpness. Does that work? No. What about thorns? No, didn't think it would. Nice to try it though, and I think I can actually rename this. I don't want to try. Ooh, and it only costs five. Sweet. <laughs> That's right. I am going to rename it. Cost five points to do this. Uh, maybe, maybe it needs a different enchantment. But I am going to call this the official power glove <laughs> from Nintendo. You guys remember that? Uh, let's go ahead and look. I'm going to try efficiency. Let's see if efficiency does anything. Maybe. Oh, and if it does, then I got efficiency 3. So sharpness doesn't work. Uh, maybe efficiency will. If not, power is for a bow. It's supposed to be for a bow and arrow. So it may not work on that. So let's go ahead and see if efficiency will work. Oh, it does. Look at that. Efficiency does work on that. Well, that's cool. What about power? No, no power. But we do have efficiency 3 on this guy, so that's cool. Uh, might wind up putting this efficiency 3 enchant book on here. Let's go ahead and put those back. I want to put that back too. So I'm going to try and get me some levels here shortly and uh, try this out. So efficiency 3. And that only costs 6. That's not too bad. Uh, I don't. I wonder if there's an unbreaking that you could put on there. Let's say, actually, let's go double check to make sure we can't just throw these things in the craft or in this uh, in here enchantment table. I don't think you can. 
No. Right, yeah, I thought we tried that already and it didn't work, so. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go hit up my mob spawner. For a minute. Hmm. Here is my mob spawner. <laughs> oh, crap. That would be a creeper. That guy was not very nice. Alright, and basically the reason why it's so bright in here is just because of my uh, night vision goggles kind of thing. So if I just do this, zombies are going to spawn in here. You'll yeah, be able to see them uh, fairly easily. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sit in here for a few minutes and see if I can get me some levels. And then we'll be uh, right back. Alright guys, and we're back. I went ahead and managed to get 29 levels slowly but surely out of our zombie spawner over there. So let's go ahead and see what we can do. So I want to go ahead and put thorns on my power armor torso. There it is. And it's going to cost me 18 levels. Let's go ahead and do that. That and it kind of looks cool. Booyah. I uh, would also like to put efficiency 3 on our power glove. And see how that works. Unfortunately, this guy does not get any colorful animation. But yeah, that's alright. And once we put it on, it looks like we lost it. So, it's still on our power glove here, but it looks like once we put it on and actually equipped it, it looks like it's gone. What happens if we put it back? Yeah, so it looks like we just lost that enchant. So, maybe not such a good idea to enchant your armor. It's I think this is just kind of a glitch, more or less, anyway. But, uh, you know, it's kind of neat. Holy crap. If you ever want to bust something up really quick, uh, yeah, put some efficiency 3 on there, plus all the tinker settings that I have currently on this. Oh, yeah, well, you even dropped a carrot for me. Nice. Uh, let's go wreck something real quick. I just want to just drill into something for as fast as I can. I want to see how fast it works on uh, grass. Holy jeez. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there. That is awesome. And it does the same thing in stone, if I'm not mistaken. Hey, get out of here. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. If you guys remember from Tech It Classic, or the old style Tech It, uh, there was a uh, tool in there called the Morning Star. And I believe it was the Morning Star. It was basically able to do uh, just about that much... Uh, <laughs> clearing out like that. Maybe not as fast, but it, it worked pretty good, and uh, you know, I'm kind of happy with this now. We have efficiency 3 on there, plus uh, all of our other good stuff. It's an all in one tool. So let's actually also, because I also have the, um, uh, what do you call that, uh, the axe module on this. Let's see how fast uh, we can actually cut a tree down. Well, leaves are still fairly slow for this tool. Get out of here, guy! I gotta say, that's a little increase in speed. That's uh, pretty nice. Alright, guys, well, I think that's uh, gonna about uh, end off the episode here. I think it's about a, a good time. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think. If you have any tips, tricks, or comments, by all means, you yeah, leave, always leave them down in the description below. Or description. <laughs> the comments below there's there is some good stuff in the description though by the way you know uh, you guys can always uh, follow me on Twitter you know Facebook those links are in the description too uh, if I hadn't mentioned it in the uh, commentary I was gonna do over the speed build uh, I'm probably gonna be doing some live streaming soon uh, if you guys want to check that out I'm probably gonna be announcing that kind of stuff on Twitter and Facebook for you guys that are interested in wanting to see that I'll probably do some take it light maybe some other games so by all means uh, you're always welcome to leave me comments down below. Like I said, I always read them. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's it for me, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. And we'll see you guys next time. And until then, well, goodbye.